Hello, Vettel121 here. Welcome back, and we are Let's Playing Final Fantasy IV The After Years. Floating in the Void. Hmm, interesting. What must be revealed? Huh. Alright then. You noticed I see. Yeah, so I think you have to talk to all the crystals before, uh... You get this little event here, and... Oh, look, it's Bubble Man! Hell yeah, Fasoya! What's he doing awake? I thought he was sleeping with the rest of the Lunarians. Yeah, who knows? Hmm... Beyond our understanding, huh? Could have happened to our moon while we were in stasis. Alright, and the Bubble Man has joined the party. Yay! Not a big fan of this character, although he does have white and black magic, but yeah, he's uh, pretty weak. I guess he starts out with some okay equipment, like a Protect Staff, and he definitely needs that Protect Staff, because his stamina sucks. Yeah, game put him in the back row, that's a good thing. Definitely a good thing. Okay, we get HP and status removed, excellent. And there should be an MP restoration here, yep. Alright. Now I think I'm going to go ahead and save my game and be right back. Alright, let's start exploring, shall we? I imagine we're going to have to uh, go through the Lunar Path area. Cast Bio on these assholes. Um, guess I could just do whatever with Soya for now. Yeah, that works. Let's keep going. Lunar Tunnel East, yes. And we got some annoying plans to take out, of course. Yay! Let's keep going. Stealing our magic points, you bastards. Man, oh man. Anyways, let's keep going. Suppose I could use a uh, high potion, that way Bubble Man doesn't die. Actually, I'll just use his white magic. What the hell am I doing? <laughs> yeah. Okay, should be able to get some chests over here. X potion and a dry ether, very nice. Yeah. Right before the chest, of course. Yay, Golba's getting a level and he learned the Osmo spell and we get the Blood Sword. And the Blood Sword stinks. Why? Because it lowers all your stats. That is not a good thing. At all. No matter how you look at it. Alright, I think I need to figure out where we have to go next. It's somewhere, but I can't remember where. Um. Yeah, I think from. Here we're supposed to uh, go down here, possibly. Okay, yeah, we're in the humming way of Bode. Home, home, home. Blah, blah, blah. Soya is leader of the Lunarians. The peace we retain on the moon is all thanks to him. Home, home, yeah. So some really nasty monsters show up in the lunar tunnel to the northwest when the moon is gone. Yeah, better be prepared for the worst. Yeah, an ebony dragon. 
Since my encounter with Cedor, I've been working under the name Challenging Way to offer new challenges to survivors. Yeah, okay. Yeah, basically we gotta talk to him when the chapter is completed to uh, do the challenge dungeon. Looks like a meteor struck not too far away from Bahamut's cave. Hmm. Okay then, we can buy some various consumables here, which I think I am gonna do actually. Uh, yeah, ethers I guess. I don't have enough gill for those at this point. Once we have to deal with an evil Lunarian named Zemus, blah blah blah. Yeah, we already know that. We've uh, played the first game, I would assume. Yes, I did actually. I did know that. The Lunar Face. Yeah, he might be in trouble. Uh, romantic? I don't know about romantic. But, uh, yeah, anyways. I think that's all we can do there for now. I think. Yeah, we're not. Okay. I'm gonna go this way, I believe, and, uh, yeah, there should be a path down here that wasn't in the original game, by the way. And we should be able to find a dungeon or a crater or something around here somewhere. Actually, let's check out Bahamut's cave first. Wonder if there's anything in here we can get. So I'm gonna go ahead and maybe use a couple tents or a cottage and save my game and be right back. Alright, let's explore the Blair of the Father. Yeah, this place, uh isn't going to be as dangerous as it was in the first game. By a long shot, I imagine. And yeah, bless, I guess. That'll work for now. Okay, we get an aura staff. Uh, actually, I think I'm going to keep the protect staff on him because that will boost his defense. That's going to be a lot more useful right now. Put Bulbas in the back row as well. That way, uh, well, I can take less damage from attacks since I'm not really going to be uh, attacking with him unless I find a better weapon like Pronto. It'd be really nice if I, if I did. But, okay, we get a dry ether. Might have to use a few of those in this place. Some chimeras. Die chimeras. Hey, Golbaz gained another level. Good stuff. Okay, we got an ether. Very nice. Hmm. Yeah, that MP restoration you get, uh, with his bless command is just absolute garbage. But whatever, what are you gonna do? Wow, this guy's uh this guy's pretty powerful there. And yeah, might as well show off taunt, I guess. guess I'll uh, use some magic with soya, um maybe some quake. Maybe Quake will do something against this guy. Wow. Jeez. This guy's a lot harder than I thought he was gonna be. Um... Bozaga? I mean, didn't I already try Bozaga on this guy? No, I did. <laughs> yeah, we the ice. Okay, let's keep going. That was kind of a... Bullshit battle. Okay, we get an ice shield. Very nice. Put that in Golbez. It'll help him uh, resist fire attacks. And yes, we have a fixed encounter with a Count Marlboro. I'm gonna go ahead and use the taunt command. Glad that missed. And let's go ahead and cast some some spells on this guy here. Let's go with a little flare.
Wow. Still not dead, huh? Oh, that, that weapon is just horrible. That and he's in the back row. Wow. This is not good, folks. Not good at all. And right now, Soya's got the better spells. Jeez. That guy was pretty tough. Alright, let's keep going here. Little chest down there. Let me guess, another one of these. Can't escape. Okay, I'll just off-screen this. Alright, yeah, those uh, Cal Marlboros, they are susceptible to Faraga, so... I recommend, uh, well, using Faraga on them. We're probably going to have another fixed encounter here. With uh, another Count Marlboro, so off screen. Actually, you know what? I'll just show this one, actually. Yeah, little Faraga. Do not work, please. Ah, uh, you son of a bitch. Well, alright then, fine. Glad those bad breaths don't work. I can't remember if there's a treasure at the end of this or not. But it is annoying, I must say. Thank you for dying. Oh crap. Um, yeah, I don't have any antidotes, which, well, kind of sucks right now. Oh, you know what? Screw it. Could have happened here. Save Bahamut? What are you talking about? It's been petrified. Uh-oh. No, he's been chained in another dimension, both his body and soul. Hmm. Interesting. I'm amazed that someone was capable of overpowering the hell of father of the Idolans himself. Who could that be? Yeah, I guess we'll find out. Meteor has fallen in a sight south of here. I think it'd be best if we checked up on it. Right. Alright. Yeah, and with Soy here, I'm gonna go ahead and cast... Um... Teleport to get the hell out of here. And I'll be right back. Alright, well anyways, if you walk around enough on the surface of the moon, you'll eventually run into a crater. Yes, and this is the Impact Crater Rim. And yeah, it's pretty nasty. It looks like all the other craters that were flying around landed on the blue planet earlier on, right? You know, causing havoc. And... What is it, Fasoya? It's eating away the land itself like a parasite. Well, it's just the moon. It's... Not that big of a deal, is it? Oh, okay. Well, Fasoya is at a loss, but we're going to be exploring this impact crater in the next episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy IV The After Years. This is Vettel121, and I will see you next time.